Now let's come to the Lakers and whether it's in barber shops, on a bar stool, uh, in a living room, everybody is debate out in Las Vegas. Everybody's debating will the Lakers make the playoffs or not? Right now they are three games out. Do they make the playoffs or not? I'd like to see the Lakers return that were in fourth place before LeBron was injured. And they had, I think, the right uh, frame of mind. They understood how LeBron plays and how they need to play without him. When you look at home game, away games, basically where you see those plus 500 teams, it's almost equal for all the other teams that are going to be. There's five or six teams that are all battling for spots seven and eight. So there's no real advantage there. You know, for the Lakers, can LeBron be okay for these remaining games? And can the rest of the guys go back to the slots and spots that they were in when LeBron was healthy? And they were winning. They were playing well. So it, it seems like LeBron is playing more under the rim now. It's a more grounded game uh, than it has been, obviously, in his amazing all-time great career. Are you seeing a little bit more of, an, a, of a below the rim LeBron James right now? I haven't noticed that as much as I watch the decisions that he makes with the ball and when it's time for him to go and take over. So whether it's above or below, he was good enough to get these other guys to be good enough to be in fourth place in the Western Conference. Does he have it in his body right now? Has he recovered enough that he can get back and play the same way? What's he going to play, 38 to 42 minutes a night? Most likely, and that's what it's probably going to take for them to win games, and they have to be on a mission now. I would think that within his own mind, he wants this challenge of, can I get this Laker team into the playoffs?